solve the equation two to the power of four minus 11 x cubed plus eight x squared plus 11 x plus two equals zero. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving the specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. This is the quartic equation, a four equals a zero equals two. The modulus of a three equals the modulus of a one equals 11. A two equals eight. Usually, a quartic equation can be solved by factorization or by the rational root theorem or by the general method or fourth degree equations. For this specific quartic equation, we can see that the coefficients of the equation the patterns of a4 equals a0, the modulus of a3 equals the modulus of a1. By dividing both sides of the equation by x squared and by letting y equal x minus one over x. The original equation can be simplified to a quadratic equation in y. Solve the quadratic equation, then work out x. Because x doesn't equal zero. So by dividing both sides of the equation by x squared, we have 2x squared minus 11x plus 8 plus 11 over x plus 2 over x squared equals zero. We can see that there is a term 2x squared and the term 2 over x squared. They have a common factor 2. So we can now write 2 times x squared plus 1 over x squared. Similarly, the terms 11x and 11 over x have a common factor 11. So we can now write minus 11 times x minus 1 over x. Let y equal x minus 1 over x by squaring both 
sides of the equation and simplifying the right hand side, we have y squared equals x squared minus 2 plus 1 over x squared. By rearranging the equation, we have x squared plus 1 over x squared equals y squared plus 2. Now, equation 1 can be written as 2 times y squared plus 2 minus 11y plus 8 equals 0. 2y squared minus 11y plus 12 equals 0. Now we solve this quadratic equation. y equals 11 plus minus root of 11 squared minus 4 times 2 times 12 over 4, which simplifies to 11 plus minus 5 over 4. So either y equals 4 or y equals 3 over 2. So x minus 1 over x equals 4 or x minus 1 over x equals 3 over 2. By simplifying these equations, we have x squared minus 4x minus 1 equals 0 or 2x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0. From equation 2, we have x equals 4 plus minus root of 16 plus 4 over 2, which simplifies to 2 plus minus root 5. So x equals 2 plus root 5, or x equals 2 minus root 5. From equation 3, we have x equals 3 plus minus root of 9 plus 16 over 4, which simplifies to 3 plus minus 5 over 4. So x equals 2 or x equals minus a half. Now we verify x equals 2 plus minus root 5, 2 and minus a half with the original equation. They are solutions of the original equation. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one. Solve the equation y to the power of 4 minus 10y cubed plus 22y squared plus 10y plus 1 equals 0. You can write your answers in the comments section.
if you like, if you have any mathematics questions of interest, you can write these in the comments section if you like. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.